Okay, so, um, this is about my fifth take of doing this, and I hope that I can finish it without any interruptions from small children or donkeys or errant chickens that decide to come into my room. So I'm going to take you on a little tour of my place. This is the outside. Um, that's the main road out there. The guys, the men usually hang out, uh, under the tree where it's shady. Uh, here is, here's a soakaway pit. Um, just a... Mine does not have a soakaway pit, but this is a soakaway pit. The water and urine from the latrine will come out and uh, pool here and evaporate. So this is Yahya, a little friend from next door. Um, this is a tree that my neighbor Abukari was working on uh, in another video I took. This is his house right here. Uh, about three months ago, this was just grassy land like that, and they've built this uh, with their blood, sweat, and tears. So, if you look out there, those are the outhouses. Mine is the one that's kind of behind that clump of trees. They're community latrines, but um, most people in my community don't really use the latrines. So, uh, for me, I leave here and I walk around this house and go out there, which I just want to say is extremely fun when you have diarrhea, and I'll just leave it at that. Uh, so, right here is a zong, which is a mud structure. This is a, uh, what's typical when you enter a, a house. I'll show you my neighbor's house to illustrate. Uh, if you can see right back here, the, the front gate, and then to the right is the zong. Uh, this is the outside of the house. If you come over this way, uh, these small zongs are, uh, chicken houses and they're tall, I asked, because children will enter through here and collect the eggs, and this way they can stand up. Uh, I just thought that was a lot of wasted mud on really short chickens. So here is my shower area, urinal. Uh, I usually fill that up with water, and then scoop it out with that cup. And that's a bucket bath, so... And this is the family shower room, same kind of setup. And here's the kitchen for the rainy season. And I'll cook over these three uh, rocks right here. And they'll fashion sticks so that they uh, kind of sit up between all those. These are foo-foo sticks, and they get pounded in here. Uh, the yam or whatever they're, they're beating up will go inside there. And they pound and pound and pound until it makes a pulpy, disgusting uh, staple food of this area in the entire country. See if you see the sticks are sitting kind of in between the rocks. Now, here is the first wife's room, the second wife's room, and this will be back here, the third wife's room. And now, typically, when you enter a compound house, to the immediate right will be the landlord's place, which are these two rooms right here. But my landlord, Sadi, has graciously moved into the second wife's room and given me the two nicest rooms of the house, which I really appreciate. It'd be kind of like getting a brand new car and never driving it and just letting your 16-year-old son uh, take it out for a spin every day. So uh, the two first wives live in this room, and there's a tin roof, which a lot of people in this area do not have. Uh, if you see the thatch is more common and the tin is very nice so when the rain comes right here in the corner right here they'll put some 40 gallon oil drums to catch the rain and people will also bring their big buckets to just line up so you can see here uh, there's kind of an indention where the raindrops will come and they catch water that way usually I sleep right here um, it's really hot inside my room so everybody sleeps outside to get some breeze. Here's the veranda area where all the great thoughts of the future are hatched. Hang my mosquito net from right here, being the good example that I am. And uh, took it down because it's about nine o'clock, so I don't really need that anymore. Here's my staple of my iPod. I don't know how I'd make it without that. <laughs> and my headlamp. Another thing I don't know how I'd make it without. I'm working on Dracula little 400 page ditty that uh, I'll probably be finished with in the next day. 
So, let's take a look inside. You have to excuse the mess. It's kind of dirty. I'm uh, working on painting right now. So, there's my couch where the pad outside I sleep on usually sits on that. Here's my Ghana Gucci bag, complete with water buffalo, elephants, lions, and rhinos and cheetahs. Pretty sweet. That's my bookshelf that I handcrafted from sticks that I chopped down and lashed together with dental floss and nylon string. I'm going to go ahead and pat myself on the back again for that one. There's my Louisville skyline that I'm working on right now. And here's my Bagurugu skyline, uh, such as it is. So, working on getting New York City right here. Here's the backyard, so to speak, and that was the house that we looked at earlier. My stove, which is amazing. The oven, kind of free to that, so I haven't really used it um, for reasons I'd rather not go into right now. I'm not ready to talk about them yet. Kitchen area, cooking top, whatever. Let's do a little product placement. My apple. Uh, purchase I'm ever so happy with making. What else we got here? Mosquito coils from we're just sitting on the front porch. Thermometer. Always got to keep that handy. Uh, oh, oh, this. This is amazing. Who made this? The British? I don't know. It's probably British people who made this. Uh, Malta. I don't even know where that is, but thank God for the Maltese. Uh, and Laughing Cow, another amazing thing. Uh, they saved my life pretty much. So, in my cooking area, candles, another staple for an area without lights. Oh, Parmesan cheese, when it's empty. Mom, it's empty! Okay, and soy sauce. Got plenty of soy sauce. So those are my cooking staples, my water filter. Uh, this is my water barrel. I keep water inside there. Uh, and I fetch water by this jerry can. I tie it to the back of my bicycle right here. And then I go to the water hole and I fetch water. And then if I'm going to drink it like a good Peace Corps volunteer to stay hydrated, I put it in my water filter. Here's my little Malcondra, my C.S. Lewis tribute in the corner. Here's my spaceship. So let's go into the bedroom office area. Uh, again, it's messy. It's Shep Week. So it's a school health education program, and I help uh, teach in my four communities the, the health classes. This is my shelf with my toiletries and clothes, books and supplies. Let's see. Here's my school health education program. Nah. Oh, look, all my wooden penises I get to do condom demonstrations with. That's fun. Uh, some more kids that are always here. Uh, there's my work area, which is a mess right now. Um bulletin board that continues to fall down. Let's look here. Oh, we have Albert Einstein. Bet you didn't know he looked that good, did you? It's a Toyota ad. It says, ideas are sexy. I thought that was cute. Those Japanese are witty. There's Mr. Will. Hi, Will. And Jack Bauer. Bo. Okane. Okane. Mae Safi. Abora. Safi. Uh, so, I'm going to paint this, Rocco de Luca and the Burden, and the Red Wings logo. Oh, oh, let me show you right here. Here is my current gym, my clay pot. Put water in it, and bottles of water, and they sit inside and they stay cool. Um, and of course, by cool, I mean anything that's less than the 102 degrees that I measured my water filter water at the other day. So... Uh, those cavemen, they were onto something. Let's see, bed cloth. This is batik print. It's, uh, I don't even know how it's done, so I'm not even going to talk about it. Outside window, little cardinal's print. I don't really sleep on my bed at all, ever, because it's really hot and the foam holds the heat. So, that's my place. Um, as you see, yeah, it's the connection point of the front porch where random people that I've never seen in my life come and sit chickens. I hate you all. And that's it. So, this is my place. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the little tour. That is going to end up on MTV Cribs anytime soon. But I'll do another one when I finish my painting. What do you want? Huh? Nah.